Is this a joke? What is this? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching and welcome to a brand new vlog. I am now in Burrito's room and I thought I would get started on building his crib. I've said this time and time and again, you've seen it in many a vlog. Building things is kind of like my love language. Like I just enjoy being able to create and build stuff. I want to make his crib now. Nico keeps asking me, why do you keep wanting to build everything right away? I really truly feel like I am in my nesting stage. We got the barn mobler crib, the hand cell five in one. Hopefully I'll be able to do this without losing my mind. This should be very interesting. I've also got my two screwdrivers and our IKEA toolkit. Nico is currently resting because he had another 5 a.m. start today. And I believe our contractor is coming over. So that's what he's going to be attending to while I attempt to make, build rather, our son's crib. Look at the wheels. Oh my goodness. I will leave this exact crib model in the description box for you guys. It's not a spawn. Paid for this with my own money. Let's do this. And just like that, we did it. Thank you, honey. We did it, guys. It was actually really easy, in fairness to Barn Mobler. Looks so good. This mattress is Eurotex. <laughs> This is what I was telling you guys in last week's vlog. Somebody invades the space. My little door. It's not. Have you seen that? Open it. <laughs> Open the drawer, the first drawer. Oh. Open it. It's all clean. <laughs> Do you like this? Yes, I disinfected it. Uh -huh. Excuse you. So That's my label, my label maker. Android. So here is the Hansel crib. Looking good. Oh, thank you, Lord. Beautiful. A few inches later. Well, now that I've got you guys here, I thought it would be a really fun time to bust out more Lazada packages that have arrived. Slowly but surely, everything is arriving, and I'm starting to get a little bit more comfortable with this whole situation that's happening in the sense that I feel like I'm finally getting my stuff together. So before I open the Lazada ones, I forgot to show you guys this little bag that I picked up during the Momzilla fair. Nico and I passed by, when was it, like two weeks ago? And one of the brands that my friend Mark recommended, I'm gonna be mentioning her in every single video because I run to her for advice. <laughs> Swatty's PH. Picked up a couple of things during the Momzilla fair and then I ordered more off of Lazada. Universal cover. Lovely like gray leafy print. It's basically a cover that you can use for the car seat, a carrier, a stroller, and when you're nursing. It's apparently one of their most saleable products. Products. I feel like this is something I'm definitely going to be using. If I do end up using it a lot, I'll be purchasing another design. But I really love this one because like there's a snake.
sale. There's a hedgehog, really cute. Has a little pouch. I didn't know that. That's lovely, easy to travel with then. This is the part that you attach to the handles of the car seat. I saw it on display during the Momzilla Bazaar, so it really helped actually that we went to that. For nursing, I don't know how this works. Like this, I'm gonna have to figure it out. And then Nico and I also got the water absorbent bed mat. Again, it's gonna be perfect for the crib. Nico chose this. I just found it so cute. I love it when he gets really into like baby stuff because it's like that attractive. Made from six layers of pure cotton gauze fabric for maximum absorption with a non-skid rubber guard at the back and it's washable and quick to dry. So freaking cute. It's like little dinosaurs. Again, Nico chose this. I just think it's gonna look so cute because again, the nursery is going to be like animal safari-ish thing but I also want to get him a play mat from Ikea of like the ocean and then this blanket has dinosaurs. I just, I want to make his room so epically fun. In front of Velcro, a swaddle wrap. So this is for zero to three months. This is the item that Mark was telling me to get because I asked on my Instagram stories about muslin cloths and like swaddles and people were giving all of these recommendations. You know, a lot of them are really good. A lot of them are very expensive. This one is really on the more affordable side, which I appreciated because again, babies are so expensive. And according to Mark, this kind of saved her and her husband from pure insanity because instead of wrapping it around the baby, which the nurses are supposed to teach you, it's just Velcro. If I can get something that's easy and quick, then I'm gonna do that. Again, Nico chose this. Little giraffes and elephants, very cute. And I honestly feel like it's quite unisex. If God blesses us with a second child and it's a girl, she can use this as well. So it's 100% organic cotton. It's really soft too, really, really soft, which again, I appreciate because I don't want burrito wearing something that's rough or uncomfortable. Sticking with Swati's pH, I picked up more of the Velcro swaddles because I figured I would need more than one. Apparently they use it to sleep. I'm learning guys. Three more during the 99 sale because it was ridiculous. These are originally like 680, 690 pesos, I believe. And during the 99 sale, they came out to 540, something ridiculous like that. So I picked up three. Glue whales design. They're so cute. Gray stars. They had a lot of cute designs as well for girls, but I'm not having them. And then this cute little elephant. And then I started picking up some postpartum bits. I have been so busy thinking about all of the things that burrito needs. And I totally forgot that I am also going to need a lot of things, especially right after giving birth. So I'm still going to order during the 1010 sale. You guys know me, I love a good sale because I feel like that'll still give me enough time. But I decided to get a couple of things already. But I'll be completing my postpartum kit, I guess, in October. October. I'll definitely do a hospital bag video. Not that I'm an expert, but I feel like, especially if you're a new mom like me, we're all in this together and we're all kind of trying to figure it out together. Apparently, this is something that I'm going to be needing, especially if, God willing, I do get my dream of like a normal vaginal birth. My doula postpartum and baby wash peri bottle. I was reading a lot of articles about what exactly women should be getting for their postpartum recovery and a peri bottle is one of them. Now, you could totally get this from any other brand or any other shop. I just went with my doula because it had a lot of good reviews. It's basically a portable bidet. I remember buying this for mom Trina and I when we went to London. Ours was called a portable bidet <laughs> and we had one each. Okay, we didn't share. That's gross. It's those squeezy bottles and then they have two nozzles. So you fill it up with water, flip it down, and then you squeeze. So it's kind of like a manual bidet and it's supposed to be really good at helping clean the area down there, especially after delivery because obviously, you know, there's stitches and whatnot. I mean, I'm praying that I won't be tearing or anything like that, but you know, that whole area is definitely going to be a lot more sensitive. And the last thing that I bought from the Lazada sale, well, I mean, there are more things coming still, guys. Don't worry. I got more loads for burrito from Cotton Central. I mentioned them a few vlogs back because I was so happy with the white ones that I ordered. I got blue ones too. Oh, I really love that they put a card. I think that's so cute. They write your name. <laughs> my hair. Hello guys, it is much later now. I actually had to wait for a delivery. Nico bought another vintage painting for the house and he's currently out so I had to wait for that because I had to pay. And then mom and I decided to FaceTime which was only supposed to be like a five minute conversation and it turned into a 50 minute conversation so it is much much later now. Blue booties. I got little mittens again like baby blue mittens. I also love that they're baby blue and not like royal blue. I just think baby blue is like so much softer and cuter. Three little 
bonnet so his little head doesn't get cold. Oh, I cry every time. Oh, I got another frog suit. I know I should be getting the frog suits with the zippers. Don't worry, I am on the hunt and I am looking for the ones with the zipper because I know I'm gonna lose my mind with all these buttons, but I had to get the blue version. I think I'm gonna bring this to the hospital as well. It's so soft and smooth and it's got that nice little waffle material in it. I can't, but I have a feeling this is gonna be big though, right? Please tell me that this is big for quote unquote newborn because if this is how big he's gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna vomit. How is he fitting in here? Oh, and I also got a, I got two. Oh no, is this baby brain? Oh, I guess I accidentally ordered two. Okay, the receiving blankets. So again, these ones are the waffle material and they've got a little hood. His little head can go in there and then they can just, like swaddle him or whatever in the hospital. I initially only bought one, so I don't know why there are two. I think I accidentally put two in my cart. It's okay because these are again, great to have on hand. And then I got a couple more white things because again, I feel like white is the easiest thing to wash, especially when you have a baby. I got him little pants. I got him little pants for around the house, guys. Little cotton white pants. Came in a pack of three. And then I also had to get him these. <laughs> little long sleeve tie shirts. I can't. They're so freaking cute. And they're so soft. I feel like I have found a shop that has really good quality baby clothes that aren't gonna break back. I will leave these linked because how freaking cute is this? It also comes in baby blue and in baby pink. Also came in a pack of three. Those are all the things that I got. I'm going to set them aside so that I can start washing them. And then, you know, I can add stuff to the nursery. Of course, I will be showing you guys more things as they arrive. Who is texting me? Oh, Trina. Speaking of Trina, she also just got back from Japan. I have a huge bag downstairs of Japanese goodies and stuff for burritos, so best believe that's going in this vlog as well. I'm gonna go now. Bye. One eternity later. Hello everybody. It is Saturday today. Nico left this morning for Pampanga with his team. So I am home alone. Or am I? One, two, three. Trina and mom are here! Hi! Hi! I can't show them because they're in dusters and no makeup. Not that Trina wears makeup or mom. They're here, they're hanging out with me. They've been here since yesterday. I would show you what's going on right now, but I don't want to show Trina's feet because that's just weird. But Kebby is here and he is licking the heck out of- Kebby, stop! He's licking her feet. They were here since yesterday. They're sleeping over till tomorrow, which I'm very happy about. We just had lunch and now we're chilling in the family room. We're gonna watch a movie. We're watching Elemental, which not gonna lie, I didn't think I was gonna be into it, but I'm like so into it. I'll try to vlog whatever I can, but I will probably forget. Are you happy to be here, mommy? Very. Are you happy to be here, Trin? Yeah. I think they're lying. <laughs> Look at what mom follows. Tomorrow. It's Sunday today. Trina and mom are going home today, but look at what Trina's making us for breakfast. Her famous tapa. Thanks, Trin. Sure. And look who's here. <laughs> Hello! It's someone's birthday tomorrow! It's someone's birthday tomorrow! I'm vlogging on my phone, guys, but we actually have his cake. It's over there, so we're gonna give him half today and then half tomorrow! Happy birthday, honey bunny! You're turning six! I really don't care. <laughs> He's so young. Look at her adjusting the heat of the stove. Stove, flipping them around. Dang, Trina looks good. Check out this feast. Of course, my egg has to be well done. And I've got my own little coffee. All right, ladies and gents, today is Sunday. Trina and mom are here. Ah, no! No. Now, Kebby's birthday isn't actually until the 18th, which is tomorrow, but Trina and mom aren't going to be here anymore. So we're going to fool him into thinking today is his birthday. But I will give him half the cake and then we will see where this goes. So I'm gonna prop you guys up in the sala so we can sing for the birthday boy. Happy birthday! 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 Happ
You want cake? Sit. Okay. Good boy. There you go. Happy birthday. Oh, it's basically done. Okay. Yummy? Yeah, this is slowly, huh? Okay. Several days later. Hi, guys. So it's been a couple of days. It's actually Tuesday today. And I thought before I would sign off this vlog, I would sit down and show you guys all of the goodies that Trina brought back from Japan. She had a last minute work trip to Japan, and of course, she had to get me stuff. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm really down today. I just feel so useless. I know it's weird. Nico just literally hugged me a while ago and was like, You are not useless. You are building our baby. But I'm having one of those days where I literally have no strength to do anything. Thing and I'm lying down and I feel just so uh about it so I thought I would do this haul because all of these goodies I know are gonna cheer me up got a big bag over here I think it's been over a week since she got back this is definitely delayed Pokemon Tokyo banana treats according to Trina this is like really popular in Japan it's got custard in it Pikachu actually my favorite Pokemon probably gonna have one for dessert I will let you guys know being a Japan haul we can't forget the unique Kit Kat flavor Kit Kat sweet potato and I absolutely love that there are like ghosts and vampires on it I'm guessing this is like a Halloween flavor very curious to see how this tastes because I do like sweet potato But in a Kit Kat, that's a little odd, isn't it? Speaking of odd another one, which is very fall But again, I don't know how this is gonna taste, but I'm very excited to give it a try chestnut flavored Kit Kat How cool is that? I love castanias. I mean castanias remind me so much of Christmas I kind of get how like it would be incorporated into the fall season. We can't forget my personal favorite, a staple that I always have to get when I'm in Japan and Trina always remembers to get it for me when she is. The Muji chocolate covered freeze dried strawberries. If you guys haven't tried these yet, please do. If you know somebody who's going to Japan or if you're going, drop by a Muji and get these because they're fabulous. So this is like the OG. And then she also got the white chocolate ones. These are so good. Don't expect them to be fresh strawberries when you bite into them. They're freeze dried strawberries. So they're literally like powdery, a bit like candy. The chocolate that they're cold it in chef's kiss probably gonna have this for breakfast tomorrow japanese cereal this is a kellogg's i'm guessing it's like a cornflake berry mix again i'm a big fan of japanese cereal and japanese granola trina knows this so we have a bag of that we got more muji pantry bits curry packets this one is the chunky vegetable and minced pork curry. Trina has gotten me the buttered chicken one and it was fabulous. So again, this is definitely going to be consumed at some point. And then this is the beef belly curry. You can eat this alone like with rice, but I like to add more meat. Very, very happy about that. We've got another bottle of Kewpie, which is great because the last Kewpie mayo that she bought me is already in the fridge and that's the only mayo we use because Kewpie mayo is elite. I haven't tried this yet, but I already know I'm going to like it. This is the instant pumpkin spice latte. I might just have to make myself a mug of this because I can have coffee. I just don't. But there have been some days where I've been craving for coffee and I've treated myself. Speaking of pumpkin spice, if you guys haven't tried the Starbucks pumpkin spice frappuccino, please do. So good. I got my decaf. Yeah, I already posted this on my Instagram the moment she sent me this bag of goodies. And a lot of you guys were freaking out at the size. I was too. Meiji Choco Baby chocolates. But please look at how gigantic this is. Choco Baby has been a favorite of mine since I was a kid. I used to save my allowance to buy the small like standard plastic of it. Trina found this. Like I am so happy right now. You best believe this is going in my bag. Thank you, Trina. She always remembers like all of my favorite things. Oh, this is for Kebab. She's gonna kill me because it was his birthday yesterday and I still didn't give it to him, but I needed to haul this. She got him a toy. It's that little fish biscuit treat waffle thing that you get on the street in Japan with like the red bean filling. 
he is going to love this. I'm gonna give it to him later. He's resting now because we had a major walkie. Oh, this isn't from Japan, obviously, but this was like such a big surprise that I was really, really happy about. To add to our collection, we've got another glossy sweatshirt. This is a beautiful like cream, soft, smooth sweatshirt. The embroidery is white. Trina always makes sure to get mom, herself, and I matching ones. So thank you, Trina. Literally all of my sweatshirts now are just all glossy. I'm gonna give this a wash because I think I wanna bring this with me to the hospital when I give birth because the Glossier sweatshirts are just so comfortable. The last little bag here. There's one thing for me and then everything else is for burrito and I have to show you guys because it's just too cute. I have to say the most perfect t-shirt in the entire universe. It's from Uniqlo and it's got French Bulldogs. I seriously cannot. She got me a medium, so this is gonna fit my belly. It's so cute, you guys know me. I love anything with French Bulldogs because I'm obsessed with kebabs. Very excited to wear that. We've got all of these cute little things for burrito. Trina was so smart. She was like, Carl's, I'm not gonna get all newborn stuff because we also don't know how quickly like he's gonna grow and stuff, which I totally agree with. So she got different sizes of different clothes while she was in Japan. Look at these t-shirts. You guys, they're like these little cotton t-shirts with embroidered animals on the pockets. So this one's a turtle. This one's a polar bear. Look at that. This one's an elephant. And again, it's super fitting because his room is gonna be like animal safari themed. And she also got, this is definitely like something he's gonna be wearing later on in life, way later on. We love Baymax because he kind of reminds us of Kebab. Obviously he's not gonna be wearing this till he's like much, much older. But I love that I can keep it for him already. How cute is his shirt? Again, she got really big sizes, which I appreciate. <laughs> onesie for like a five-year-old treat no what is this i mean it's great i'm guessing these are gonna be pajamas that's funny though so she got giant onesies this is so funny how tall does she think he's gonna be i hope he's gonna be really tall there's also a gray one a white one love that I can just have them all ready for him in his closet and I just really appreciate that Trina really thought it through. Thank you Trina. Thank you for all the goodies. I am so chuffed and excited to eat like a bajillion of them. That definitely made me feel loads better. I'm gonna end this vlog here. Hopefully I'll get better. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all loads and I will see you again soon for another video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.